What's up, guys? We're back again for another Marvel Puzzle Quest video. Okay, we got more um, Kang three star shenanigans. So, Kang the Conqueror, or just Kang Class, excuse me, three star. Um, Polaris and Bishop. So, I guess we're going to focus on Bishop making blue tiles on the board. Um, we're going to be going up against Beta Ray Bill, Polaris, and I forgot the third character in PvP Simulator, but this is like one of the worst matchups if, if you're in four star line in general. Um, unless you have Morbius, then you might have a chance. Other than that, you really don't. Um, just because it's Kang and he's one, he's the most broken character in the game. Um, so apparently, Bishop throws defense tiles out. His yellow creates blue tiles. Like, let's just get into this. I am going to be using boost to speed things up and to try to survive. So, I mean, obviously the goal is to get Kang to use his blue ability three times and you win. Um, in four star land, I could see this team working 100% of the time. If you're in four star land or three star land, you win. You literally win the game. Don't go to five star land until they nerf Kang the Conqueror. Um, or just stay in four stars slash three star land. Just stay in, stay in that MMR. Um, until then, just stay in there until they nerf him if they if not then and, and they end up nerfing kang then ggs just move on but if not stay where you're at um it's a lot easier than five star line i tell you guys that much all right let's get into this enough blabbering um let's see let's see so oh kamala khan okay so they got the infinite going we're gonna probably have to get rid of Polaris. We might have to stun her. So we're gonna put him in front. No, um, what do we do? Let's see, no, where is it at? Yellow, 10, four, five, six, seven. Um, we're gonna put him in front. He's gonna tank since we made a match with his first. Polaris is probably gonna, they're probably gonna down my characters. He's in a tank. He's in front. They're going to create more defense tiles. We do have a defense tile now. So hopefully we get those blue tiles and get rid of her. Eight. One more. We need one more blue. He didn't do it? Oh, no. Okay, so we... Okay, so let's see. If Bishop has less than eight blue AP, this power becomes general reserve. Blow dealing 1,283 damage to the target and stun them for two turns. Okay, no. So... This is a tricky part. Let's see. What do we do? We need yellow. They have four. We're going to put him in front. We're going to generate... Okay, we have blue for a temporal shift for three star. If they do not down us, then it's good. We can get rid of Polaris. We can... Actually, no, we're going to get rid of uh no polaris because she's in a stun so boom and then let's see we will we need yellow we need yellow that's not gonna cut it for us seven his green costs 12 um let's do this match five we win we 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 win there's there's nothing they can do this is crazy Yet again, another video to prove that he's broken. We literally have the Gambit meta all over again. It's ridiculous. Um, we win. GG's. I'm going to just use this because I'm going to put those to five, get that extra turn. We still don't have yellow, but we will right here. Um, let's activate for the future from Bishop. I'll tell you guys right now, if you, if you are in three-star land or four-star land, just stay in there. Stay in, stay in your lane and use Kang to the best of your ability and use these teams and just easy auto mode win and get full progression at this point. You don't even need placement um, right now if you're already struggling to try to get placement. Just get full progression, clear every event, stack up those resources, and then when you're ready, pop 300, you know, 270 to 300 LTs or whatever you have saved up and just get your characters champ this is this is just bizarre how they let how they're letting this happen and i know people are gonna people are gonna hate me for this you know talking this much 
about Kang the Conqueror, five star and three star. Like it's ridiculous how busted he is. Why didn't it activate? Am I missing something? Uh, great sacrifices along the way. Bishop converts one enemy special tile to a strength 719 friendly projectile and that's another thing this team can really this team works really well in general just because the, def the defense tiles right it might take a little bit longer to win but we we're literally gonna beat beta ray bill polaris like it's ridiculous um so the yellow if there are six or more friendly projectiles on the board at the start of bishop's turn convert two friendly projectiles and five basic tiles to blue basic tiles six so i have six right if there are are six or more friendly projectiles yeah okay so what wait that's the passive oh oh okay so do we want to make you know you know what we're just gonna match blue we're just gonna match blue doesn't matter she's gonna probably kill most of us no oh my god that's ggs okay no i was gonna stun okay so we could still win if we match blue. Oh! We win. This this is crazy. And she's champed. 456. Oh wow, I got so lucky. They killed Polaris, but we we win. That's crazy. Yet again, Kang the Conqueror. Five star. King King Classic. Three star. Broken. I I like these easy wins, but it's not fun for me because it's like this is all I'm going to be using. It's repetitive. It's annoying. Um, obviously, you can beat Kang 3-star and 5-star with ease. You can beat them like nothing. Um, they do like they do counter countdown tile characters. But, you know, it, it's just annoying. I don't, I, I don't want to go through the Gambit meta again. And I don't think a lot of people are going to want to do that either. But, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.